Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number two of my No Man's Sky Leviathan Expedition Let's Play series. So I tried to land in the same spot we ended up before we died last time. And I ended up just falling through the floor of the base and nearly died again. So gotta be careful because there's a lot of mean creatures here, which I kind of just want to kill a few of them. Again, for more money, and also, so they're not hanging around right near me. Because they make me a little nervous, to be honest. There's so many of them. I don't even know how I fell through the floor, but I, I did. Which is not ideal. That's a signal booster. I could use this. I don't know what it's going to find. But let's have a look. Might as well, right? Well, it's here. Why not try? What did you find for me? A drop pod, which we could get an upgrade from if we wanted to as well. All oh, plants glitch build. Okay, my god, that was lucky. Right, so why are we back on the planet? We're going to use our solar array and we're going to collect some material. Oh, there's a sentinel hanging around underneath us. There he is down there. Just got to try and avoid that guy. And avoid any other hostile species that may be near us. And we should be okay. So yeah, we're going to go over here to our... Well, to whatever this is. It's just a resource deposit. It's a cobalt resource deposit. I did not mean to do that. So we're going to... Holy crap, that's actually sick. I keep selecting the wrong thing. Oh my god, I'm trying to... <laughs> just keep pushing the wrong button. I'm trying to remember what the button is to make your thing smaller. It's... hang on. Let's mess around with the mining beam for a minute. Oh my god, I keep doing it. Nope, terrain manipulator. To make it smaller is... I don't remember. Hang on. I'm having, I'm having a complete brain fart moment with No Man's Sky right now. Just give me a second. Okay, it's R and T. I just had a moment there. Here's something walking. What is it? That's oh, a bird flying. That's okay. We're okay with those. Right. T's bigger, R's smaller. Yep. Because we want to get as much of this stuff as we can out of this resource deposit. Now that we're not shooting it with a plasma gun, I should be able to get a fair amount of liquid sun. We only need 250 to continue on with our things, so that's all we're going to get. Any... Oh, great. Any any leftover we're just going to get rid of. If we end up with too much. Okay, use this... Sodium to recharge. So I'm glad I have sodium on me. Right, so we need 250. We're still about 100 away. Hopefully this deposit will have enough in it with the smallest size. And this storm is... Oh my god. You're actually kidding, yeah? The solar ray goes through sodium so quickly, it's insane. Almost there. Okay, we got it, let's go. Let's get in the hole for a sec. We'll re-get our, uh, our hazard protection levels up, and then we'll go to the ship. So make sure I'm deeper in the hole. I should be using the ion batteries. I keep accidentally using the sodium, and that is not my intention. 
Okay, we're good. We're good, let's go. Uh, maybe we'll kill you quickly, though. So it was one of those guys that walked up last episode and killed me. I, I looked at the footage. Really sucks, but that's just how it happened. Also, actually think... Hang on. If we get in here for a second. If we have any creature pellets, which I think I got rid of them earlier. I did. Uh, let's also get rid of that. It's not even worth it to hold on for the units. The units are so insignificant that I just don't care for that. Uh, we can get some memory things from feeding some creatures. Maybe we should try and do that while we're here. Real quick, we just got to be careful. Okay, yeah, we can harvest their ancestral memories. You know what? It might be worth waiting out the storm. That might be the way to go. Actually, you know what we should do? We should just go in here. There we go. We'll be cool inside the base. I didn't actually see what was up here either. More solar panels. Insufficient light. Probably because there's a storm going on, I guess. I have engaged local wildlife. <laughs> Whoa, that scared me. Ah, oh, because the solar panels folded up. That's what that noise was. That scared me so much. Construction research unit. Mm-hmm. Well, we know the basic wood stuff, which is all we're going to need anyway. Is there anything to sell? Anything I want to sell? Anything I want to buy, actually. Now, we will need this. We'll need 50 of this. Oh, no, 40 gold. We shall need for uh, one of the next things we need to craft. I don't think it has anything else we needed, though. Just the Oh, no, it has chromatic metal. I don't know how much we need of this, so I'm just going to buy all of it. We've got the units, so who cares? Right? Alright, cool. So the storm's cleared now. Let's see if we can... Oh, why are you hanging out outside, man? Go away. Stupid sentinel. I don't want to fight them. They will mess me up hardcore. Uh, so we just need creatures that we can offer stuff to for ancestral memories. We need 200 total, and I think we have we we'll get 150 from one of the expedition rewards. Come here, you. All right, that's more ancestral memories harvested. Is good. Got any more creatures just hanging around right near us? Yeah, we do. Be careful, don't kill yourself. Thank you. All the more ancestral memories for me. I recently milked him of his ancestral memories. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> hey, man. You ready to be milked again? Sick. Okay, I think that should give me enough. If we look in the expedition stuff, yeah, we get 150 ancestral memories from that. So that's good. Uh, we can get rid of the cobalt. I just want to see... we can grab this now. Okay, we ended up with some wild milk. We have 225 ancestral memories, which we can also give to Polo. Uh, I don't think we have the stuff to do the other thing he wanted, which I can't think of. He wanted something else done, but we don't have the stuff for that. That's fine, though. I think we've done everything we needed to do on this planet. So we can move on 
to our first anchor point after we go and see Polo. And we can progress. Because he will give us, I believe, the stuff we need to make a hi oh, the hyperdrive stuff. Oh, God, I just did this. I know it's going to happen whether we open the map in another couple minutes or not, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay. Uh, let's summon the anomaly when we can. We gotta get away from the asteroids, I would say. Oh, further away. There we go. Nice. Oh, thank God we got in here just in time before we had to fight something. The perfect timing. To avoid a pirate fight. Awesome. Now we got a restore point. Let's go talk to good old Polo. Polo, Olo, Olo, Olo. So he can give me more things to do. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, Polo? You already know what we need, I think. Yes, here's some liquid sun. Right on time, traveler friend. Oh, I got a memory fragment from him, and we got the bounds testing. We assisted specialist Polo. Let's also give you some ancestral memories. Right on time, traveler friend. So I guess you can just keep doing that over and over again because it adds to the community stuff. I absorbed... Oh no, I didn't have a spot for it. Crap. Um... Oh no, it went in here. Okay, cool. Installable technology. Pre-packaged membrane unit. User is able to swim underwater for extended periods. Oh, nice. Okay. And we got a life support module. Also very good. Our life support stuff is still in here, though, and I don't have room. <laughs> uh, maybe we could put... What could we put on the... Starship. Maybe we'll put a little bit of this stuff in there. Put it in the cargo thing or something. Uh, God. Um, what can go in there? That we're going to get rid of. So that for the now can go in here. Just for a minute. And then... Oh, God. How are we going to do this? That's the best I can do for now. Oh, and the feline livers are also going to go, so that's something else as well. All right. We also get some other things. We get an emergency broadcast receiver. We get a memory fragment for Starship Weapon 1. We got the pre-packaged hyperdrive unit, which we can install in our starship. Uh, let's put it in the technology tab, preferably. We should have gotten some hyperdrives for it, which we can now fill that with. We got the emergency broadcast receiver, and we got a starship weapon, which we ended up with a cyclotron ballista unit. Which I don't think, no eh, matter where I put it, is it going to be any beneficial to us, so that's fine. That's good. Alright. Have we collected all the rewards we can? We have. So now we've got to construct the memory resonator. Which, I don't know where that is. Is it in here? No, that's an oxygen recycler.
Where does the memory resonator go into? It's a rocket launcher. Single use receiver that scans for distress signals on freighter frequencies. Derelict or abandoned freighters often contain high value salvage. We're going to hold on to that for a minute. Oh no, we get the memory resonator once we go to the first anchor point. Sorry, I apologize. I was looking at that like, man, I'm dumb, but no. That makes sense. That's why. Okay, now we could... Oh, do this. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, if we do it in the technology slot, what we can do is now we can move this over here and this over into here. There we go. Good. That frees up a couple more slots of inventory for now until we sell that other stuff. Which is very, very good. That looks pretty awesome. Look at that thing. Destroyer of the Nexus. That looks dope. Alright. Uh, is there anything I need to learn or do in here? No. Because you can pay for different things in here, of course, if you want to. But, uh, I don't know whether that's a good idea necessarily. I think we could talk to you and get some nanites, though, couldn't we? No? What about you? Can I talk to you and get some nanites? Uh, give data. I've got no new discoveries. Okay, fair. Fair enough. Time to go, then. Let's go select anchor point. Reach the first anchor point. Select the expedition route in the galaxy map. A significant journey may be required to reach the anchor world. Um, yes. With a hyperdrive, if that's what you're talking about, correct. Alright. Let's get out of the Nexus, or out of the Space Anomaly, and go to this anchor point. Okay, let's get out a little bit. Let's try not to waste too much time, because otherwise we're going to end up getting attacked. Is that our first anchor point? Let's just make sure we've got Expedition Route selected. Correct. So you just follow the green marker, go up here, and that is our first anchor point there. So how close can we get to it? It's out of jump range. Okay, so we're going to have to jump multiple times it looks like, which sucks, but we'll do that. Okay, I'm also trying to remember to go to space stations when I go to new areas. The last one I didn't because it was an outlaw planet. Just to grab, just to go and pick that up. The extra storage space I think is always a good idea to, to have. Okay, let's go. We're almost there. This should be the last jump that we need to make. So we're going to try and do this real, 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 real quick. Before we get attacked. Boom. So the last jump I did, I actually had the space anomaly with me during the jump. Like, I could see it in the background. He travelled me, he, he travelled with me through space and time. And here we are. This should be... ...the anchor point that we were wanting, correct? I'm just going to check the galaxy map to make sure I actually jump to the right area. Yep. This is correct. Okay, now we'll go to the space station real quick. Just real, real quickly. Oh! Good timing, we avoided the Sentinels. We don't want to be messing with the Sentinels. They don't exactly stop. Once you've started shooting one, you have to shoot a lot. And this also happened last time, too. Where I just went black screen when I came in here. For a second. As long as I see that it says report store point save, that's all I care about. Alright, how you doing, mate? I've just come over here to purchase some wares. Just gonna get some more technology slots. Thanks, friend. 
and we're going to book it out of here. That looks like an awesome ship. Okay, we're going to go to the first anchor point. Which looks like it's over here. Let's go. Okay, we're entering the system. Now, I'm going to assume, because the anchor point's here, right? But I'm going to assume the actual place it wants me to go is where this starship is positioned. From, uh, Slash Ops. Holy crap, I can't see a damn thing. That's a blizzard right now, isn't it? Hopefully nothing racist or anything will pop up on the screen. We have reached the first anchor point. Is it cold in here or is it just me? The end is never, the end is never the end. Okay. Now we can sit in our ship. There's no need to be outside right now. Now we should get some things. We're going to get the memory resonator, memory fragment for inventory and two, well, two inventory ones and two exosuit ones. And I have everything for that. Fantastic. Life is good. Craft product. A fur... Uh, right, let's do that. We now have the memory resonator. Deploy the memory resonator to locate a memory hotspot. Alrighty. Guess that can go in here then. Cool, let's see what we got. Prepackaged radiation radiation deflector unit. Prepackaged radiation deflector unit. Wow, thanks, game. Inventory upgrade. Uh yeah. And then maybe we do cargo. Thank you for the inventory upgrades. And then let's look at this one. Oh. One there maybe. And then the other three in cargo. Cool. Sweet. Now we got a bit more space in our exosuit, and we also have some cargo slot area as well. Very good. Right. Reveal memory hotspots within the loop. And then complete the first universal loop, so cool. Alright, so we could jump out and do this then, quickly. Uh, how do we do this? Manifest loop memory. Memory hotspot identified. Reach the loop hotspot. Where the hell is that? Nearby loop pattern manifested. I mean, there's so much ice on my screen and so many things on my screen, I can't even see where that is. I'm trying to see it. I see it's to my right. That's here. Okay, well, we gotta go. We gotta go that direction then. Go up. Keep going up. Tag that. And then let's go. Let's go out of the system for a second. Maybe we'll, then we'll actually be able to see, you know, things. And then we can do this. And head over to the loop memory hop, hot spot. Hop spot. Hot spot. Let's get up higher, so we travel faster. Oh god, why? Where? Oh, we don't have to worry about it? Did we, did we get out of that? Okay, we, we got out of it. Alright, so this is the approximate location. Ow. Unfortunately, it's not the exact location, so we're going to have to jump out, waste more launch thruster fuel. And 
unfortunately, but hey, that's the way it is. Okay. Where are we going? This direction. Uh, we should probably grab some carbon and stuff on our way through as well. Oh my god, there's so many things in my way. These are freaky, dude. Like, pulsate and stuff as well. Where are we going this way? We can always summon our ship anyway. We don't have to worry too much about that. I was more worried about creatures than anything else. Because getting hit like twice can kill us. That's the reality, so we've got to be really careful. Careful falling down big holes like that, that'll kill us. Even though it doesn't look very far, it's far enough to kill us. Where is this loop stuff? What are we... Is it down in here? Gotta be really careful. Oh, it must be this. Loop memory hotspot. Oh, I keep meaning to not use the damn sodium and I keep doing it. Katono Huo's boundary. The Leviathan was like nothing I've ever seen. The organism I've shackled for a ship. So vast as to blot out the sun. I wanted it. I deserve to. Certain that it's, it is just for me and this prize mine. It resisted, would not, wailed and wailed as the infra knife carved its meat. Almost took me down with it, perhaps, perhaps. Sub protocol warning, life support power low, claim memory. Loop collapse event in progress, oh my god. No, 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 Oh my god, I need to get out of the shrubbery. I can't see a damn thing. Why is there six biological horrors remaining? I've killed like three of them. Stay away from me. I hate these things. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my god. As I say, there's only four remaining. They're not updating properly. That's all of them, right? Whew. Current loop phase complete in 1%. Screw those things, man. They suck. I hate them. Ooh, Corvax casing. Get some more sodium, seeing as I keep accidentally wasting it. Okay, so we killed the monstrosities. I didn't even get a chance to see... We get memory imprint... One, memory fragments three, and we get 250 chromatic metal as well. Nice. I'm just trying to- oh, I did it again. I'm trying to be careful. A memory is burned into this strange material, an echo of another lifetime. Uh, that can go in my cargo slots. Let's see what we get. Pre-packaged neural simulator. Okay. Repackaged oxygen rerouter. Yes, that does nothing for me, even though it's right there. Alright, it would only be if I had the oxygen thing crafted. Prepackaged survey device unit. Oh. Does that go with the analysis analysis 
visor. I don't know. And we've got phase one complete. Phase one complete. Which we collect our, could collect our rewards now, but we're not going to. And then we've got optional assist polo in searching loop one, which I think is a community event. I think. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Let's summon our ship over here then. And then I think the next step is we need to go to a... A different planet. I can't think of what kind of planet it is, though. I want to be safe while I look at it. And also, while I quickly install this technology, I guess. Uh, you know what? Let's just wait on that, actually. Oh, I was meant to sell that stuff, too. I keep forgetting. So, we need to go to an... Is it, was it an irradiated planet or something... An infested world. We need to establish a base on an infested world, and we need to use the memory resonator to seek the fallen traveler. And we need still also need to learn three words, which we should be doing when we go to space stations. I should be talking to them. And then we also need to explore a freighter crash site, which we could use the emergency broadcast thing to do. Locating derelict freighter. Activate the pole. I didn't want to... I th it's got to be a crashed one, does it not? Yeah, I think it does. Which means if we do that, if we go to... That one, I don't think it's going to work the way I want it to. Or maybe it will. I don't know. Let's see. Oh. Land on the derelict freighter. Hopefully this counts. Alcoholic Phoenix has encountered something in deep space. Hello. Warning game. What is that? Why was that warning game not saved? Game not saved aboard derelicts. Oh, great. Okay, we're gonna have to be bloody careful and hope the game doesn't crash then, aren't we? Oh, how sketchy is this? Freaking me out, man. Ooh, what do we got here? No destination terminals available. Network reactivation required. How is all this? Repair kits and a bunch of ferrite dust. Healing unit. That's pretty cool. Can't grab anything out of there. I can't go through the door. Ah, oh, door control, here we go. Severe incident, total lockdown, access denied. No crew of life signs detected. Crew manifest and captain's log may assist. Cargo integrity, 95%. Salvage and recovery likely. Access doors mean automatically sealed and internal systems disabled. Manual restart required. Restart internal gravity. Gravity calibration error. Freedom of movement reduced. Internal environment protection is offline. Attempt manual generator restart. Restart hazard control. Primary heat generator failure. Protection against cold temperatures required. Access supply cache. Unsealed door. One active receiver. Collect emergency supplies. Supply cache consumed. Additional supplies can be collected within the airlock. Additional Unseal the door. Seal irreversibly compromised. Access requested. Proceed with caution. 
We should have this out then. Oh, what the hell? What is that? Are they gonna hurt me? I don't know. A log snippet. Event record follows. Date stamp. Heater normally in offices. Mess. Outcome ignored. Unexplained electrical failure. Main engineering. In main engineering. Outcome deployed backup. Redacted containment failure in armory. Security dispatched. Rare item found. Mainframe access card. Oh my god, I am already out of room for everything. You know what, I'm not even gonna do the rusted metal bullshit. Holy shit! You reckon it's cold? My god! Holy shit. It's just a little cold. Redacted autonomous positioning, preserved cargo alert active. Okay. My god, you reckon it's cold? Unstable container. That could have killed me. Alright. Now I know. Don't stand anywhere near them. Zones map 2 of 12. I can scavenge all these. Dude, this is sick. Why do I find it here, though? Oh, you know what? I've never, ever, like, gone to a derelict freighter in normal mode. And I'm here now. In a freaking expedition. You're joking, right? Well, I have. I have gone to a derelict freighter, but it didn't look like I could land on it. Horrific nest awakens the horrific things. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, you know what? I don't think I'm getting anything out of this right now. Like, I'm not going to be able to... This isn't going to go towards the expedition, right? Like, that's just not what it's going to do. So, is there really... Is it really worth potentially dying to be here? Probably not, right? As cool as this is, it's probably not where we want to be. Because it's not a crashed freighter. It just counts... It doesn't count as one, does it? Explore a freighter crash site. No, that sucks! But that doesn't count. Alright, we need to establish a base on an infested world. Locate an infested planet. Reach the planet is some one one slash I two. Which I think will be here. Correct. That is a scolding planet. That is the icy abhorrence. That's just a rock. Yes. Where is it? Okay. Claimed the stuff from iteration one. Got some living slime. Repair kits. Okay. So I only landed in here. Uh, so I could avoid space pirates that were trying to attack me. I think the planet is on the other side of this... Where is it? We don't want to go back in there. Where's the planet we were trying to go to? Come on. Do you anything about summoning the anomaly? Can I move him over there for a minute? Okay, that moved him. That's good. We want to. I think it's on the other side of this planet. That's why we can't see it, because it's on the opposite side of it. I think. There's 
cloudy is Mapan there. This is the scolding planet. I think it's over the other side. You can just see it peeking around the back. So we need to go to the other side of this to be able to get over to the planet we want. Where is it? There. Nope. That's a cloudy moon. Although, we'll go there for a second. Actually, no, we won't. What do we got here? Acrid moon. Okay, hang on. Yeah, we do want to go to the cloudy planet. What am I doing? It's exactly where we want to go. Why am I questioning it? So let's head over there. Okay, we have reached the planet. Go away. Great. Fantastic. Okay, it slows them down. That's interesting. I've never used the ballista before. Nice. We win. Thank you. Alright. Oh, God. Let's go here. It's like a settlement or something. Locate an infested planet. Reach the planet Isum. Which is technically where we are, are we not? Oh god. Sentinels. Wow, I fell like a foot and took a lot of damage. Yep, yeah, so this is this is where we are. We are here. Do we have to establish a base here? Because it doesn't actually say it's an infested planet. It says it's a cloudy moon or whatever. But it looks infested to me. Look at it. Creepy looking. What we got going on in here? Anything of interest? Gek Observatory. Anybody to talk to? Probably need an Atlas Pass. Yeah, you do. Uh, input. I have no idea what I'm supposed to put in. It doesn't matter. So, do I put a base here, maybe? I don't know. I'm just gonna go with it and see what happens. Oops. I need to do this first. Researching cartographic... Claim base. Region of planet... Yeah, I mean, it's the right one. Right. Locate an infested planet. Reach the planet this. Establish a foothold on an infested planet. Uh, so we could do... Guess we'll just do this. And then do some walls. Two... Three, four, five. Oh, of course, I'm out of carbon. Damn it. What a stickler. That's it. 
Took a while to get some carbon out of that one. No, go away. Go away. Don't investigate anything, Sentinel Drone of Doom. Please, I'm also going to scan you real quick, just cause. Just want them to stay away from me. Oh, I've maxed out my carbon, haven't I? I've got so much condensed carbon. Okay. Let's quickly try and see if we can get this base down. This sentinel's hanging out here, though. He's going to be a bit of a, a bit of an annoyance. Could cause a problem or two with us if we're not careful. Uh, and now we want. Timber doorway. I did not mean to do it like that. Oh, God. Delete that. No, timber doorway. Is that just how big it is? I thought it was smaller than that. Okay. I'm, ha I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. Okay, hang on. Ah, oh, okay. I really need pure ferrite for the thing I want to make, don't I? Unbelievable. You know what? Yeah, let's use condensed carbon. Why not? Just get ten of this. Thank you. Oh, can I have my ferrite dust back? Thanks. I'll take my portable refiner back too, thank you. And then let's get this done. As you can tell, I'm not much of a base builder at all, so I apologize. Uh, roof, rounded roof. Hmm. Will that count if I just do that? Can I not block it in? Oh, there we go. How does this not count as having a foothold? Let me guess, this isn't... Wait. Just says it's the planet. But it's not an infested planet. It's a cloudy planet. What? I'm so confused. Oh my god, we found a freighter crash site by just going to a communication beacon. This is perfect. Absolutely fantastic. This worked out freaking great. Oh, hell yeah. Recover the freighter's log. No, I didn't want to... I wanted this. I went to the wrong thing. Okay, read the log. Yes. Here we go. 
Now we're making progress. Sweet. Now we can choose to salvage the materials or we can just choose to say stuff that. I'm not sure what I really want to do. Except for... We have some life support jelly. And head in here for a moment. Okay, what do we get for that? Memory fragments. Well, we've got a full inventory. We've got sentinels hanging on outside. Mm. Suppose we need the memory imprint. We've got this mainframe access card now. Which wasn't necessarily something I needed. What was in the starship? Oh, we got some effigies. We got that as well. Hang on, let's head over near our starship for a second. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Uh, one of these is gonna have to go in the technology slot somewhere. And then I can put the Corvax casing in the Starship. And maybe the Tainted Metal in the Starship, which is going to attract Space Pirates, so that's good. And we're going to grab our Expedition Rewards. Two Memory Fragments. Let's have a look what we got here. We've got a Pulse Splitter Module. Super duper good to get that. And then we got another Pulse Splinter module. Again, very awesome thing to get. Sick. Alright, so the Pulse Splitter has been upgraded now as well. Use the Memory Resonator, Seek the Fallen Traveler. Alright, let's... I'm going to hop out of here for a second, because I want to see if it's going to show me this... Because this is a cloudy planet. This is not an infested world, so I'm very confused how this works. Okay, I'm a dumbass. I've got to go to anchor point two. Don't know why I didn't have that thought. Even though I said it literally last episode that I had to go to anchor point two to go to the infested world. But I don't think we can really do anything else here except for maybe go to the space station, quickly sell a few things and chat to some aliens to help with our words and that's really all we can get done uh, without going to the next anchor point which is going to require more hyperdrive fuel as well which we can make anti-schmatter yep anti-schmatter and then we got some oxygen and ferrite yeah so we could Quickly make a few. Whoops. Make a couple more warp cells. Get that hyperdrive. Need one more, and then that'll be full again. And that should be enough to go all the way to the next anchor point. No issue at all, I'm pretty sure. That didn't look glitchy at all. Okay. So we'll make one more anti schmatter one more of that, one more warp cell. Go over to here, boom. Full hyperdrive. Fantastic. Now let's go to this side. So we can go to the galactic... Thing in my bobber. Go. Now let's sell. We can finally get rid of this feline liver and the meat as well that we had on us. Did we not have there? It is Strider sausage. Get rid of leftover gold. The Viking effigies will probably keep. 
Uh, we can talk to you. How you doing, sir? Request dialect help. Already learned. Oh. Interesting. What? Can I request... I Why does it say I've visited you? What? Okay, we'll talk to work get Seth, then. Request dialect help. Friendship symbol... We'll do friendship symbol. I've learned the Gek word for help. Why have I visited all these... All these Viking before? What? Why have I got... What? I'm so confused. Request dialect help. Travel symbol. Okay, I learned the Gek word for find. I need to talk to one more Gek. And then we'll have done all the gek the gek words. I've learnt the gek word for the. Okay, so that's three gek words done. For some reason I can't talk to the Viking. What about if I just offer you a gift? He accepted the gift with gratitude. And then nothing. Already learned. That's that confuses me. I don't know why it's telling me I've already learnt them. I haven't even been to a knowledge stone in this expedition before. Not one. So, I'm very confused about that. Mm. I can sell the taint of metal. Let's just get rid of it. I don't know what this is for. Creatures can be fed to encourage the formation... I don't know whether there's a reason why it gave me that. It's the only reason I'm holding on to it, is because I don't know what it's for. What it could be for. So, that's the only reason I'm holding on to it. Uh, we can make our way over to Anchor Point 2 now, I believe. I think we should be safe enough to be able to do that now. I think we've done everything we needed to. So let's make our way over to Anchor Point 2 then. Alright, we've made it to Rendezvous Point 2, but we're being attacked by goddamn space pirates. He's so close to being dead. He's basically finished. Come on. Don't even shield. You don't even need a shield. Okay, the other one I'm pretty sure just crashed into something and died. <laughs> uh, so we're looking for an infested planet. I know what it looks like. I'm just trying to find it. It's the fragmented one. And this is a high radio source planet. We're looking for this one. That is our infested planet. But where is it? I do not know. I'm having a hard time identifying where it could be. There's two planets there. has to be like I'm gonna head out this direction so I can get a better look at them found it it also keeps telling me the wrong planets to go to it told me to go to the bountiful planet for this and that's not right like it's telling me go to an infested planet but the actual mission thing told me to go to uh, tough field over here, which is a bountiful planet, so I don't know why it wants me to do that. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? We got a starship, we got a person, and we got a starship. I'm just gonna head near this guy, I guess. We just gotta put a base anywhere, right? So we can just put a base on this planet. 
And that should have us complete the Establish a Base on an Infested Planet mission. See how it says Locate an Infested Planet and then says Reach the Planet, the other one, Tullfield or whatever? Doesn't make any sense. Ugh, I hate the colour of this. So this is an infested planet, huh? Looks pretty icy to me to be an infested planet. But it r reckons it is. Okay, because the floor is diseased. Okay, let's do this. Oh great, there's a sentinel here. We use our base to, like, then hide in it. Um, so we can kill a few sentinels and then hide in the base to dodge it. I don't know whether that's a thing we could do. Just put, honestly, two doorways. I do not care. Timber roof. It's gonna look shit, but it'll it'll count as a base, hopefully. Where did that snap to? Did I just snap a? I did. Ah, sick. Made a home in an infested world. Sweet. Let's jump in our ship for a minute. Collect a reward. Now we have the Geo Bay, the Nautilon Chamber, and the Minotaur one as well. Which is fantastic. We also have some memory fragments for some Exocraft that we could sell or use. Whatever we choose to do. Oh, because we haven't gone to the anchor point yet. That's what it wanted me to do. That's why it wanted me to go to that place. That's fine. Okay, cool. Well, I say we go and put our save point in here. And we save, and then we say goodbye for this episode. So, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more No Man's Sky in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace!